Hello, Fireblade here, aka Obama McLama. Last tutorial, I taught you how to make a simple cell block, or at least cells, and a button that works it, and how to make it all functional with at least a prop inside of it, uh, a vent in one of the cells. Um, now I'm going to teach you how to create armory and weapons with maybe some extra magazines or a specified amount of ammunition. So, you may remember last time with the whole carving thing, I really do not suggest using the carving tool. I was mainly using that for, well, time consuming so that it would be really nice and quick, but it didn't turn out to be quick. It turned out to even waste even more time. 15 minute videos become problematic, so let's get it on. Alright, so, I'm just going to cut me here a hallway using the clipping tool. Uh, mine's going to be roughly 128 tall, just like that. I'm going to select the bottom floor here, select the texture. Now I have the bottom floor, so I'm going to create me a little, well, hallway here. Actually, I'm just going to make it hollowed because that works just fine. So I'm just going to select the whole outline here, make hollow, negative 8, that works just fine. Solids to delete that wall, delete that wall, and that should be just fine. Uh, you see here I got some walls inside here, so I'm going to move that back. Uh, this one, move that back a little bit too. Alright, now this hallway is just fine, so let's create a... Um, time to create the well the cell, or I mean the armory. I'm gonna do the same thing. Just gonna hollow out a block. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Hollow negative eight. I'm gonna select this wall. Do the same thing I did with this. I'm gonna carve it out. Uh flooring a little bit messed up, so I'm going to move that one back. No need for the others. It's a little bit inside. I don't like that, so I'm going to fix that while I can. Alright, so now I have a simple little, like, armory inside here. Well, a room that leads through a hallway. So next I need some CT spawn. So if I click the little arrow by default, it should be... Uh, up a little bit. You want to go for counter terrorist. You can just type it in. It would have been a quicker counter terrorist. And it's the info player counter terrorist. You do not want the territory control. You want the info player counter terrorist. And you just, like, honestly, you can click a bunch everywhere. Or you could select them in the top down view and organize it a little bit better. Why does that not select objects? Select the objects button first. Alright, then you can like put it on the 64 solid line. It's a bit neater, cleaner. Uh, and then for weapons, click the entity button. Uh, type in weapon underscore. Uh, let's go for an M4. Just go and place a bunch here on the floor, on the wall. Now you want to make sure you have the object selected. Hold Control and left click on all the M4s. Go to your 2D view. And why is that not working? All right, go to your 2D view. Right click it. Go to Properties, or you could have done that earlier. Um, now you don't need to give it a name. You don't need to do anything here. You can make it start constrained. That means it does not fall when it's spawned. So I would freeze them right there. Uh, but you do have to do one thing to get it the ammo. If you want your M4A1s to start with ammo, such as uh, extra magazines, like what Mag M4 starts with. 90 extra ammo, so that's three more magazines for a total of four. 
then click the smart edit, edit, smart edit button. Now this is really the only use you'll ever use the smart edit button, honestly. Is click the smart edit button. You get this extra properties and everything. Click add. In the key field here, type in ammo. Now the value is how much extra ammo you're going to have. If you put in one, it's going to have a total of 31 ammunition, including the magazine he currently has. Put in 90. It's basically this the default that Counter Strike gives you. Go and put in 90. Click apply. Don't forget to click the smart edit button again, so that you don't see that weird stuff that you don't know about. You don't really need to know much about this, at least not yet. And that's really all you need to use the smart edit button for. And now your M4s have ammunition. You do the same thing with AKs, different guns, put a Mag-10, give it some ammo, put uh, uh, a Negev, give it a lot of ammo, put a sawed off there, give it a bunch of ammo, and smoke grenade, because you know every single armory has to have some form of grenade, so I'm going to put some Molotovs there. I mean, uh, smoke grenades. Now, unfortunately, you can't really give it ammo, or at least I've never tried, so maybe you can. That you can test with your own self. Uh, I'm not going to test that. So, I've done some work. I'm going to save this as a different file name because I've I've done a major major improvement onto this map. So I'm going to save it as a different file name. That way, I still have the previous stuff that I've worked on, and also because it's a tutorial. All right. So now you get your armor with CT spawns, got nine, got you some guns that, sh that has extra magazines in it, or extra ammunition. That's really how to make an army. It's quite simple. Um, there is one thing I do suggest at least placing into your map. Uh, go to your entities, objects, t uh, filter in game underscore player underscore equip. You place this anywhere in your map just click it right there. And then... I lied about the ammunition with Smart Edit. This is the second thing that you will probably want to at least place in your map. That is, if you do not want your players to start with armor. Many jailbreak maps, at least the best ones, don't really include ammo. Or at least armor. I mean... They don't include armor, so you can click the Smart Edit tool, uh, click Add, and type in Weapon underscore Knife, and put the value as 0, or 1. Either should work. Click Smart Edit, Apply. Now this should strip all of your, your player's weapons meaning the CTs will be stripped, but then the Hosties plugin, which every jailbreak server has, will come in hand and provide you with the M4s. In the case that it doesn't, your army should supply them of their weapons, so that's up to you in that case. Uh, you don't really need to mess with the flags, but if you want, you can click strip all weapons first, and that really shouldn't really have too much to do with it, but that's really that's just so that your your T's don't spawn with their pistols and so that because most jailbreak servers are casual they start with 100 armor and many people don't like that so you may want to strip that so save gonna run it real quick looks good alright so that is how to create a simple armory with CT spawns, give yourself some weapons placed on the map with some extra ammunition, and how to place a game equip to remove all players of their weapons, including the T's and their armor. Next tutorial is going to be game activities such as like how to work with rotating props, uh, moving, move linear, things like that. That way you can get on with like say jump rope. That's a really simple thing to do. Uh, death run. I'm going to teach you things of that. 
So 